Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now a lot of times when we hear about wives killing their husbands, we automatically make assumptions. We often say things like, the woman just couldn't take the abuse anymore, or it's somehow the man's fault. Well a woman in Somerset has gone on trial after stabbing her husband to death. 66-year-old Penelope Jackson stabbed her retired colonel husband three times in the kitchen of their bungalow following a tiny row over a Zoom call of all things. Now after being stabbed three times, the 78-year-old victim, David, whom was married to Penelope Jackson for 24 years, managed to get his hand on a phone and dialed 999. While he was speaking to the operator, or withering in pain, his wife told the operator that she had stabbed him in a chest area and even alluded to the fact that his stomach was in tatters, or as she put it, all buggered up. She also told the operator that her husband was bleeding out. How cruel and vindictive can you be? When the operator implored Penelope Jackson to get a clean towel and help stem the bleeding, she flat out refused. She claimed the reason for stabbing her husband was simply because she had enough. He was coercive, abusive and controlling to her, despite the fact that there was no evidence of domestic violence or abuse. Now during the trial, the court also heard Penelope tell the emergency services operator that she thought she aimed for his heart, but he has not got one. Now probably the most shocking element of this crime is the victim's wife speaking to the operator. While she was on the phone to the operator, she stabbed him for a final time. That means the operator was forced to listen to the blood-curdling screams of a dying man writhing in pain as life left his body. And after delivering the final blow, she calmly took over the call, telling the operator, I've killed my husband, or tried to because I've had enough. And when she was asked where he was, she replied, he's in the kitchen, bleeding out to death with any luck. Now, I do not condone any type of abuse. It doesn't matter if the recipient is a man or a woman. But when the crime came to light, there's a long list of shoddy antics that's been done by Penelope Jackson. For one, she locked her husband in a conservatory in order, in her words, for him to calm down over an argument over a remote control. On another occasion, she also threatened to cut off his penis. These are not the thought process of any sane woman. The murdered husband David had also expressed to his ex-wife that Penelope had threatened to kill him if he ever tried to leave her. Now ironically, their relationship started as the result of an affair. Also during the court proceedings, other members of friends and family came forward to express Penelope's character. They said that she was a larger than life character that liked to make people feel uncomfortable, which made David in particular the murdered husband felt very uncomfortable and always on edge. Again, there was no evidence of domestic violence, but they would have a tip over the most silliest of things, and it would always or mostly be instigated by Penelope. She was the type of person that had to have her own way. As for Penelope, she freely admits that she murdered her husband, and that just shows you you have to be an evil and cruel person in order to do these type of things. If you don't want to be in a marriage anymore, for whatever reason, pack your bags, find a solicitor and be free. Live your life. But you don't have to murder your partner in cold blood and then make a mockery of his life. That's just pouring salt over old wounds. Condolences to David's friends and family. Stay safe. Safe.